Hey, my name is Danica, and today I have my September wrap-up. September wasn't my best reading month. I will link the video down below where I talked about not reading for about three weeks, but I did manage to finish some books. I broke through that mental block, so I'll talk about the books I did read. The book that I was stuck on was Painting Their Portraits in Winter by Miriam Gerba. This is a short story collection, and I'll link my review at the Lesbury down below. Despite this taking me forever to finish, I actually really enjoyed it. I loved the writing style. It's mostly about being kind of stuck between the U.S. and Mexico. I I especially liked the first story. The full title of this is How Some Abuelitas Keep Their Chicana Granddaughter Still While Painting Their Portraits in Winter. And that's what the first story is about. It's about her abuelita telling her these amazing stories that are super dark and gruesome that kept them occupied while she was painting their portraits. And I think that story and those stories within that story were my favorite, but they're all really strong. Death is a big theme in this book, but not in a really morbid way. There's one quote that I included in my review view that I loved that was talking about how when she was at a funeral she felt really curious about what a dead person would feel like. When she touches the dead person's hand she says, It felt chilly, stiff, and anticlimactic, like omens of my future attempts at compulsory heterosexuality. And if that doesn't make you want to read the book, I don't know what will. Next I read Black Marks by Kirsten Denal Hoyt, and honestly I just picked this one up because the main character is a lesbian librarian, and I will pick up any book that has a lesbian main character. Unfortunately this one just didn't click with me. I was intrigued at the beginning, but it just felt really bleak, and usually that's okay for me in a book, but this one I just didn't really get a lot from it. You really travel through time in her story and how she ended up where she is, but it just seemed to get worse and worse wherever in her timeline you saw her. I was kind of hoping that the ending would recontextualize the book in some way, but it just sort of seemed to fizzle out. And then I read the graphic novel Aya by Marguerite Abue. This is the book that I read the second volume of, my last readathon not realizing it was the second volume, so I backtracked and read the first one. And I still really liked it, but honestly I spoiled a lot of the main volume by reading it out of order. But this series is really great. I love how vibrant the characters are. I really liked the art style. I definitely am going to continue with this series. It's really nice to see this different depiction of Africa. If anyone knows of more graphic novels and comics that are set in Africa, let me know, because I don't see a lot of them. Most of the ones I read tend to be North American. And then I finished the audiobook of Battle Magic by Tamara Pierce. This wasn't my favorite Tamara Pierce book. It's kind of a prequel to Will of the Empress. It's supposed to explain what happened to Briar, why he has such PTSD in that book. It just didn't really seem to match with the impression that I got from the Will of the Empress. Heavy's story was really strong and devastating, but Briar didn't really seem to play that big a role in this book even though it really should be his book. But, I mean, even a weak Tomorrow Pierce book is still a great book, but this one's not my favorite. And lastly, I finished Redefining Realness by Janet Mock. This is just as good as everyone says it is. I think it actually would work really well as sort of an introduction to trans issues if you haven't read a lot of books with trans main characters or by trans authors, or if you're just kind of feeling clueless about trans issues. I think this is a good book to start with. She's really generous about explaining vocabulary and concepts that you might not be familiar with. If you're trying to diversify your reading in that way, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. It's also just a really strong book. It's so forthright and brave, not just about her transition, but about a lot of things that happened when she was younger that, that I can imagine were really difficult to share, but she just lays it all out there. It's also really readable. It was a quick one to read, so I definitely recommend that one. And those were all the books that I read in September. Let me know what you read. If you've read any of these, let me know what you thought of them. And thank you for watching. Bye!